The following is a women's War Games match. The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins. The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage will result in a forfeit. Now, let the War Games begin! Here comes the queen, the franchise and the self-proclaimed opportunity. You know, the WWE Universe, at least many in it, believe that she's been handed title opportunities in main events. Well, many of those same doubters live in their parents' basements, Cole. I wouldn't necessarily value their opinion. This is Charlotte Flair. This is the queen. This is the opportunity. So, Byron, from your parents' basement, what do you feel about Charlotte Flair? First of all, I moved out last week, Michael. And second of all, I do think Charlotte's ego could be a bit out of control at times. After everything Charlotte Flair has accomplished in her career, her ego is allowed to be as big as it possibly can be. She calls herself the EST. WWE Universe, you are looking at a superstar who is simply blessed to be the best. Just naturally better than everybody else, even when only doing the bare minimum. Well, you talk about some of that natural athletic talent, Corey. Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and all American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron, you understand. A freak in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Belair could do it all. And she's got a lethal hair whip. the ring look at this incredible power the gorilla press wow. beautiful moonsault <laughs> wow did that just happen lands face first and now bianca getting the crowd involved here mat slam with some attitude From behind, back suplex. The queen looking disgusted to be in the ring with her opposition now. It seems like that slap might have had a little extra hostility behind it. We've got a numbers advantage incoming.
momentum is all with the Queen now. Charlotte exhibiting that genetic superiority. Wow, did that just happen? Into the corner now. In the middle road. And here we go. Climbing up the cage. Only bad things happen from that decision. Oh, and she turns it around. can surely be breathed once the next competitor enters. Searching under the ring, thinking something there can give their team a boost. Fast press! Fast press! Fast press! Charlotte, a step. Well, face level part into the guillotine. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Fighting desperately. Able to shrug off her opponent. No time for fear. Have to just get in there and engage with the enemy. And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. And what a executed move we just saw there. Tilt the world head scissors. And she has an answer for this. And that definitely made solid impact. Suffering day. 